We're live. We are live. Who's Welcome to the coolest podcast in the world. We're new here, but we're true here. We, we just started this, okay? Cool Kicks LA. First, we can start, just start, start talking about where we came from. Let's talk about it. How are we here? Virginia. VA, VA boys. VA is for lovers. Um, VK, start about, talk about the, you know, the trenches. Talk about the trenches. <laughs> we, we all met back in 2010. You guys met in like 2000, what, six, seven? <laughs> old. Oh, shit. Old. OG. 2004, yeah. Yeah, we about 20 years in. Salute, salute. salute. It's just crazy. We, we like never family, talked bro. about it publicly how we ever started. Nah. R- Richmond, Virginia. We all went to VCU together. Then Shout I, out to the Rams. Shout out to the Rams. <laughs> then I pulled up. Shit got out of hand. <laughs> It's just a crazy journey how we all came together. Parties brought us together. Girls brought us together. Classrooms brought us together. Money brought us together. Loyalty keeps us together. The fun, the good energy keeps us together. But talk about the first stores. They, they don't know about the first store. They wavy know, kicks. Yeah, they don't wavy kicks before cool kicks. Before cool kicks, there was a there was a store called Wavy Kicks. This is back in 2014, and I remember when I first I did this by myself. The first one. And I remember bringing it up to all of them, and they said, nah, this ain't going to work. So I ended up doing it by myself. With I, some first of all, I said it wasn't going to work because of strangers. The, the business model was good. But, but, you, but you didn't believe in us. I ain't believe in it. I they ain't believe in us. God, God did. did. I, 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 I believed in it, but I wanted to see it work, and you made it work. So, so. I took the risk of it, right? Mm-hmm. It worked. Three months later, BK's like, all right, let's, let's do one spy in Springfield. Let's maximize it. I definitely right? didn't believe in that one. I, ain't gonna lie to you. I literally we walked past it and I was like, bro, this is not going to work. No one, no one ever believes in the vision at first. No it's all is. good, but <laughs> we're here now, so it's all good. I appreciate it. So that second store opened up on Black Friday of 2014, and that did good. So then two years go by, and what? Everyone's graduated from school. I was yeah, still getting wait, 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 wait. That's too fast. Too fast. That's too fast. Yeah. Too, you forgot. How we get from wavy kicks to cool kicks? Yeah. Oh yeah, we almost forgot about tell, that. Tell, talk about so, the L's and so everything. So for, 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 for oh, yeah. wavy kicks, Roger. that was the brand before cool kicks. <laughs> Big L. So obviously, I had mentioned I was working with strangers. It wasn't our core group of friends that we've known for a decade, and so it was very cutthroat business. We lost hundreds of thousands. I had a partner that we dealt with, not gonna say names, that stole a lot of shoes, money, and it was just messing up the rotation. And my face was attached to that brand, and I couldn't do it no longer. So once I graduated and but it was a 2016 one masters at VCU. I ended up cutting ties. And when did we change the name from Wavy Kicks to Cool Kicks? We changed it, it after the first year Black Friday. After um, you started telling me so about 2015? The, the scandalous oh, yeah. situations so you yeah, had. Six scandals. Six, six scandals. So um, it was Black Friday and then we just changed the name to, to Cool Kicks and just post it on Instagram and let yeah. everybody find out from there. Who thought of the name? Man? Not a yeah, who think about th- it. Yeah, who, who thought about cool, cool Kicks name? Me. Nah, cool, bro. Was it Twan? I don't know. That's I mean, I'm I, trying to think. I think, I, I think Hold on. Are you guys serious? No, you thought of that? Hold on. Are you guys I think serious? we had no, a I'm brainstorming serious. session. Now I'm curious. What is um, Cool Kicks here? I mean, like, why do we had a brainstorming cool session? Cool. It's was cool. The, was the cool at first. It's cool. First off, people don't know. Before we did anything that made any money, we just a group of guys on campus. We just called ourselves the cool. We don't call ourselves the cool. We just used it as a caption. And everyone but started gripping, never gripping forget us. Respectfully, I came up with the name. Yeah, because. You did, right? Yes. I just, cool. I, just had, I just had to make sure because I really just, forgot. It was really just forgot. cool, so I mean, why not? So let's go a little back then. Actually, how do we even? Why sneakers? Like, why do we open a shoe store? I mean, we were all into shoes. I believe. I mean, everybody was into shoes. I, mean, into, I think. I think the uh, the weakest shoe game I in the, the group is probably Adele. Though I'm gonna be honest. Freshman year, <laughs> freshman year of college is 2010. I had the Jordan Elevens. <laughs> it was a colorway that never even came Still out. Right? Come out. Remember the colorway? So I'm looking at her. They came similar. Like a, a similar colorway came out. It was like a reverse Georgetown low with a Dell hat on. It was a, no Jordan Eleven. It was a baby blue, but it never it was came baby out. Baby blue and yeah, gray. Yeah, he had the overweight Jumpman sign. <laughs> oh, oh, the Jordan logo was a like crooked, it was like a Shaq logo. <laughs> it was like a, a Giannis logo on the Jordan shoe. But yeah, Dell, your shoe game came a long way, man. Long way. God oh, bless. Roger's shoe game was when he nah, not in this Rod, video. Can we talk about him? Can we talk Since about Roger's there? shoe game? Roger had mid top. Roger Sperry's. played basketball and wore. His Roger shoes had high top club. Sperry's when I met him in college. <laughs> high top Sperry's. Roger, with, uh, I got a funny with story. With a polo Roger. shirt. Rod, Roger <laughs> had Sperry's at the gym. Then he went to class after. Then he went home, and I seen him out that same night. Chacha was with the same Sperry's. Up. <laughs> I said, "Man, how did I?" So he's a hoop at Sperry's. He's a hoop at Sperry's. Cap, cap. I'm not believing. Why pick the um? Why the high tops and not the lows? What the mid top Sperry's, Roger? We can hear you over here. <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, yeah, uh, but uh, other than outside of sneakers, 
we, we used to throw parties. A lot of people don't know that. And that's what kind of our personalities and our social capabilities brought us, our group together, which made us cool, right? Yeah, basically, the, I think what the parties gave us, it, it helped us find our own little wave because it was only, you know, you had to play a sport or you had to like, you know, be well off or you had to do like, um, you know, it's doing something in business in that small community to make ends meet or be a cool person. We found our own way, but the parties in our own way, not like as promoters, like as in like cool guys and all the people, we're going to a party, we're inviting you. It's more like, it's less than promoting. So we found our own niche and we just kept it going and then put it towards the sneakers. Because a lot of our, uh, people don't realize that we never took loans out. We never had family support, like giving us money. You know what I mean, so like all the money we made from parties in the first, like from 2010 to like 2015, 2016, no, 2014, we saved all that money to open our first store. It, was, it wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot. We like, just it was like slow 20,000, right? It was like 15, grind. 20,000. Slow grind. But the crazy thing is, at the time, 2014, people don't realize, like, there was no stock extra go. We were like no. the first buy, sell, and trade show. It was round market. two. But other than round two, like, you know, it was stadium. You, you, ever me, you, you ever tell them the truth? Like, at that time, there was no way to predict the sneaker market, the forecast sales, which shoe was like, Selling high, we just had to really look out on like you know there, eBay sold us. I think there was eBay, literally think, nowhere where you can go. It was eBay. And get I remember eBay, for eBay. Your shoes at all. I think, nowhere. Oh yeah, the cash nowhere. out. Yeah, no one would buy shoes. No yeah, one. It was would only just, Flight Club around because Simon at high prices, and then you eBay? look on eBay. It was, it was on eBay. Else. eBay uh, Craigslist maybe. I don't know Craigslist. What people eBay, eBay, oh. eBay had no authentication system. Yeah, Craigslist. but we kind of went off the like the money market. Our market was eBay. You right though? It wasn't no like yeah. It was eBay. I remember it was the only thing we could look out to see what high shoes sold was so listening on eBay, or maybe like, it was an app like at first called Suplex, like back in the day. Or even people's individual websites. I think we actually really did focus on Flight Club. We just yeah. seen their prices. Oh like, yeah, we did used to look at Flight Club yeah. prices. But what made us stand eBay, out and unique was our business model was just so different. We were the, like probably one of the first sneaker brands to do buy, sell, and trade, but own everything and sell new and used. A lot of these shops at the time were yeah, only new brand, only. Yeah or they didn't own it, they were consignment. Our business model, we would outright buy it. And that's why people used to sell it to us so much because everyone needs cash. Yeah, especially in college. <laughs> like in college, yeah, VC what? campus, people were taking anything. I would buy Jordans for 30 bucks so they needed bucks. to pay for textbooks. Man. It's just crazy. You know that's a gem too though, like the low margins. A lot of people know, like I see now, six years being on Melrose, you see now the the neighboring community, like the neighbor sneaker, sneaker shops, they all have like our similar model. It's less consignment, it's more buy, sell, trade, new and used. At first, it was all new. New. Consignment, that's it. Yeah. Uh, shrink wrap, shoes, that's all it was. You have to buy your used shoes like eBay. But now, a lot of the, the new spots are adapting to the model we put together. So I like to see how the sneaker community is going up crazy. It's dope, though. It's, be it's better that way because you could get the cooler shoes at more affordable prices. Now, you see a lot more people in the sneaker game. Instead of back then, uh, only the you know the rich let's, and famous. Let's talk about our transition from Virginia to LA. Like, how did that how did that go about? Because I remember uh, us three we used to plan about it all the time in college. Remember, we would go eat at so a city diner. Where we go used to go eat and Village, talk about this Village Cafe. Village, Village Cafe, Cafe in Richmond. Good. People don't realize the risk we took. Like, we were just broke college kids. Because as soon as I graduated with my master's, I literally we moved three days later. I didn't even tell my parents. That's the crazy I mean, thing. I've seen. BK. I didn't tell my parents about this. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Never forget, yeah. You got, yeah, that's, that's, I'll never forget. I'll never forget. First, me and BK came, what, me and BK, we came, what, uh, like- A week or two May, before. May, uh, y'all came May. Like, like two weeks before. We didn't even have a, a, a storefront or nothing. We just came here and- we, um, we actually came earlier in that. We came- Like a month before, I think. Four times, well, I came four times in six months before. Is he shout, back? shout out to Larry Sanders. Larry, Larry Sanders, Larry. my dog Larry. He really held us shout down, Shout out to Milwaukee Bucks. Really late show, down. shout out to Late Show. Hold it, held us down during the early stages of transitioning from- Virginia and LA held us down, um, allowed us to rent rooms in his home, um, helped us with the transition. And that was a crazy two weeks. I remember moving out here and we were doing construction, right? Yeah. And I was living on Larry's couch. He had a pink eye. And, and I had a pink eye. <laughs> wow, like, eye. wow, this is the first time ever. So my eyes, I did like, remember we had no health insurance. I had to go to CVS or urgent care, pay, pay the money. Out of pocket. Out of pocket because yeah. I didn't have money because all our money was in sneakers at the time. You know what I mean? And, and we was, weren't even open, so I didn't have no money. He's still going out. With the pink eye. Nah. I was at 1-0 going crazy. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, let's, yeah. talk, let's actually talk about that. Say that. Uh, <laughs> this is the week we move in, right? I've never gone out in LA, right? I'm used to Virginia walking in anywhere, all access, right? I come here, get the biggest reality check. I walk in with them. They curve me. I had shorts on, right? Yeah, shorts on. 
I knew the situation because me and BK was here for a couple weeks. We was going out with Larry. We knew that like you can't wear shorts at night. There's, yeah. a, high, there's a high cover. It's basically in Stay LA. If you don't have a table. It's you're Your not gonna short. get in unless you play a high cover. Yeah. Unless you know and somebody. He's probably, walk, he's like probably walked up. up and was so like, I literally I'm good walked to go. up. I thought somebody would know me from back home type of shit. But <laughs> LA's a whole different breed. No one knew who I was. Which I don't, I don't, I don't, that's just life. So I walk up and I see all of them getting in except me. And I'm looking outside. I'm like, damn. Yeah, that was, was one of the biggest reality checks. But honestly, that gave me a chip on my shoulder where today, literally, I can go in with slippers on anywhere in, in LA. Congratulations, bro. Started. Let me start from started. a lot of people don't know Congrats, that, bro. We really started from, we was very humble and modest for that longest, for the longest time because we didn't expect no handouts, no favors. We just, we understood. We got to wait in line, pay $100 or whatever. We need to go inside so we can meet people and show them, hey, we're here in LA, um, new, and we have a sneaker shop, small sneaker shop on the block. Uh, Merrill's, when Merrill's was just like dispensaries. It was like, wasn't like this at the time. Yeah. So we had to let people know. So we used to call it networking. We used to go out, mm -hmm. talk about networking. We Let's to actually talk about that because people are, we used to network in college and that's what got us to where we are today. But like, people don't realize it. When we networked for the last six years, like three to five times a week going out, people used to be like, damn, how do you guys do it? But people don't realize that when we go out, we're like a walking billboard. We're walking advertisement. The reason Cool Kicks is Cool Kicks today and get all, get all the biggest names and celebrities and athletes is because when we're out, we're around the pretty girls and we're in the right placements. That's how you meet these individuals. It's exactly. organic. You can't meet... Uh Future just walking on the street or something. Yeah, you know it's mean? hard. Yeah. Yeah. You got to meet them in a, a mutual interest area where we're outside, you know, at a situation where there's like a club or a bar, there's girls around, we're drinking, and then you, hey, what's up, man? Quick spill, elevator speech that you learned in college. 30 minutes, 30 seconds to tell them, hey, this is what I do. Whenever you got time, pull up. Keep it natural, keep it genuine. And then now we do that with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Now we have a great Not so easy Rolodex. To and like, clients. we call them as friends. They're homies now, like more than just clients, so... That helped us out a lot. But it's like, we knew how to maneuver that because we used to throw parties in Virginia. So we knew like, all right, be the main promoter or know the DJs or know the Be nice to everybody. Be nice Bathroom to everyone. Bathroom attendant, security guard, the valet dude. Be nice to all of them because you're going to see them and they will have some sort of help. Especially the DJs. Shout out to all the DJs because they're the ones like 24 seven, they'll see us in the class. Cool kicks in the building, cool kicks in the building. That's I call that brand network. awareness. Yeah. Like everyone's like, oh yeah. Who's your time, favorite DJ? Nate, shout out some DJs in LA right now. Favorite DJs, wow. Shout out to shout out some DJs. Bree Sinatra, Bree, DJ Breeze, which My is man, Breeze. both of them been with us literally since we opened. Shout out to Mark Spot. Mark the Spot. Mark the Spot. DJ Orange. DJ, DJ Bad. DJ Bad. Um, There's so we many. Um, we got um, Don Juan. Don Juan, man, my, we know my guy. Else is you know a lot of people. Um, Every DJ. Who was DJ? Who was Night DJs? Train. Night Train. Um, I gotta go through my DJ list because oh, this oh, is a bunch of DJs. Man, Boozer can't can't forget. Oh, but DJ Man Boozer. Yeah, I'm a guy, Boozer. Legend. Boozer's more than a DJ. He's a comedian. DJ Charisma. <laughs> Charisma. Mikey Danger. Dang, Mikey Danger. We can go all day, but those are. But that's DJ. that's key Just to knowing incredible. those individuals. Just incredible. It's a lot of DJ. If I miss your name, I apologize, man. But we want to pre early. We want to thank y'all, Deadass, for helping us out because without them, they they literally put that 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 voice in the music in the in the clubs yeah. of Cool Kicks, Cool Kicks, Cool Kicks. It got repetitive. I've, I I remember one night I probably heard it a hundred times. I mean, and I know I was looking around, bro, people are like irritated, like, why we, the fuck do they keep saying Cool Kicks? <laughs> we go to DC and they do the same thing, bro. Right? Yeah. Show everywhere. Like, yeah, everywhere, bro. They, they see and like, this is why I wanted the podcast because people see our personalities, but they never ever see it like in a joint yeah, thing like yeah, this. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. why I wanted to do a podcast. Imagine our personalities colliding then with a special guest. Yeah, see, let's talk about Nip, man. When we first moved here, Nipsey Hustle, big respect to Nipsey Hustle, man. He really, really, we seen it with our own eyes how big of an impact he was once we moved to LA. Um, people, we was, used, people used to tell us all the time. They used like, to tell us all the this time. This is the guy, and then we Man, just didn't what? understand it till he started really shopping with us, and we understood. Yeah, we started meeting so. him. Very humble, modest dude. Really, really fucked with BK heavy. Yeah. It's just he's just open to us more than we expected. It's uh, telling BK gems like y'all was chopping it up all the time. Up, took me and uh moved to uh, AOD. We to AOD. We got an authentic and LA love. experience. So. A real authentic LA yeah, experience. Our first time with uh you know. Uh, with, with the with the gang, <laughs> AOD. I wasn't there. We this is well before we had any, and yeah, it was club. well off at all. So we were just staying behind Nipsey and letting them throw, uh, throw ones and have fun and you know buy alcohol and have a blast. But big respect to Nipsey Hussle and all of the all of that 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 whole crew because they still cool us to this day because 
we just keep it just keep it humble and modest. Uh, yeah. We met him and just didn't crowd the space. Just make sure whenever he came to the shop, we took care of him. So that's a big one. Yeah, Nipsey Hussle, man. L.A. L.A. legend. Bless us with his presence. So it's dope. That's crazy. So what's next for Cool Kicks? Ah, growing. Growth. Maybe Vegas? Maybe Miami? Who Open knows? more stores? Who knows? Y'all want new stores out there? You got to let us know in the comments. Hey, comment down below. Let us know new stores. What you city see? should we open in a Cool Kicks location? In? I'm rolling my dice for Vegas. Vegas. I think Vegas. Vegas is toxic. We had a situation. We had a couple uh, we, offers we, we, Vegas. we still do. Yeah, we have a lot of offers still in Vegas. Um, it just has to make right sense, you know? You know, Las Vegas Strip is insane it's deadly, it's deadly. <laughs> so you I think so you, timing is everything timing is also. everything and yeah. i think uh it's better off that we held off till now because now that all the sports teams are coming so yeah uh, i see vegas in our near it's future going. they're gonna have a baseball Definitely. team sooner or later vegas about to be so vegas once that happens buy. it's over like once you know once like sports teams come, yeah, the football's nba be team gonna be there yeah but outside of storefronts we are working on a big tech project web three shout Cold out cinema is web three. me can we tell can we say the name not yet, not yet, not yet. Not the name, but we can. We, we can let you know. It's Actually, three. this is uh, this will drop after we announce an announcement. Anyways, before okay. we announce, so yeah, minor, minor, minor. Don't forget to swap. swap. Minor swap. So swap, swap is key. We're basically creating. Imagine a stockx go on a blockchain, where you can buy, sell, and trade collectibles, sneakers, yeah. jewelry, handbags, sports cards, everything. Of and value. you can you can literally buy, sell, and trade without having the physical item. So let me give you an example, Ben. Let's get you it. You have three shoes of Kennedy laying around. Okay. You don't want it. <laughs> you ship it to us. We authenticate it, and we store it in our vault. Okay. Then we give you a digital representation of those goods into your wallet. It's still yours, though. It's still yours until it sells. So the physical is backed by a digital. So now you can literally buy, sell, and trade. Get a collateralized loan off of those goods. You can do all that without having custody of the goods. And those three pair of shoes not in, in the way. Now let me give home. you an, let me give you a sick example. And, and the price is still going up. The price yes. go up. Don't forget about that. So, so. R.I.P. to Virgil, but when Virgil passed away, a shoe that was five hundred was literally as soon as they announced that he passed away, it went to like a thousand. Right. 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 I knew people that were spending millions of dollars trying to buy all those shoes because they knew it was going to go up. But what happened was everything that's listed on these marketplaces they don't have possession of. Like they're just the middleman, like stock yeah. scope. Yeah. So that what happened is next morning they got an email saying they canceled the order because the seller didn't want to sell too cheap. Because they seen it go up. They saw it would go up. Yeah. With our platform, as soon, everything that's listed on the marketplace is in our custody and our vault. So now if you press buy now right now, you own it on the blockchain instantly. So now if it went for 500 to 1,000, you bought it for 500, you can literally, it's like a stock market, you can just sell it for 1,000 instantly. In, ASAP. A, in a minute, ASAP. Lose nothing. Or you can redeem the good and we can burn the digital component. Y'all hear that? That's a game changer. That's a game changer. That? This is our unicorn idea that That's we've been working on for a while. unicorn idea. It, was a lot, it will take a lot of people to get acclimated and used to the, the change in the industry. But, but that's the future. Trust me. It's, that's what's happening. Is it membership? That's what's no, no. Remember, it's got marketplace free. You can buy with a custodial wallet. So you can buy with Apple Pay. Or if you're a crypto user, you can buy with crypto. Okay. So we were officially, the news will be out there. We raised 5 million at a 50 mil valuation, which is incredible. Let's round it up. Shout out Minus Lock. We, we, clo we closed our round. Okay. So that's a very big excitement project that we're working on. But then obviously we're going to have to open more stores. I want to go to Miami because Miami is a tech area now. So, and there's Ooh. some blends out there. Ooh. There's blends here in LA too. Uh, Speaking of blends, Mook, <laughs> what is a blend for everyone that's watching right now? What is a blend? Okay, I've, uh, I've came to... Uh, uh, a conclusion on the definition. Okay. <laughs> That's a knee slapper moment. Blends, first off, let people know it's not a derogatory term at all. Okay. 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 It's a word of endearment. Okay. For <laughs> a word like of endearment that. for That's the good. female for the female um, you know, partner. Meaning a friend, a beautiful friend that sometimes you may get out of that friend zone with. Yeah. Mm. It's the homie. It's the homie. Okay. Still your homie. You bring respect, you no. Know, and no, like, you know, game, no lies, no disrespect, no offensive anything. Just good energy. I'm analyzing the situation right now. You get it? I get it. It could be, it could be <laughs> so a friend. I, I like, she it. can sit right here. Uh -huh. She could be a blend of mine. And like, that you have no sexuals. No, no, like, she's just my, just my homie. But if we, ha if we go to, you know, out and have fun, you know, safe place that she wants to. So I got a question. Well, how many blends do you have then? Currently, right now? Yeah. What's like, what's your rotation looking like? Two. 
Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> Just count on your count on your hands. We'll help you out. Too. Speaking of blends, uh, you, you obviously got a girl. You yes, got I do. two beautiful children. Yes, I do. Wife, wife. Uh, wife. wife. You can say wife. 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 Fiance. Big W word. Respect, respect. With two kids. No blend, Shout out wife. Kennedy and wife. Leo. See, I, bland is different than wife. See, we just said it. We just yeah, proved it. It's different, you're right. Yeah. Soon to be wife. So how is that tra transition with you? Because you have a group of friends that are single. Uh, no kids. We're always going out. You're, uh, how do you it, stay disciplined? How do you stay disciplined? I'm I curious. Stay that. away from y'all. <laughs> so you just do that. Stay, stay away from y'all. You're a smart man. You know what's smart crazy? Man. Hey, look, I, I only go out. Being a smart, smart man. man. I never hey, listen, you to listen. I come only go out. I only go out on birthdays, or go golfing with Adele. Now. <laughs> That's all we're doing. We're golfers now. Because y'all, y'all like to use Instagram a lot. A couple of y'all. And topics wise, we're covering everything. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about everything. I'm going no filter. Drip check. You got to come in here. Flat. Oh, yeah. If you come Don't here, come I'm dripped here out. With, yeah. We're going to address Please you. Please come man. dripped we'll out. We'll be conversational. We're exposing them. Yeah, we have exposing to. Them. This, is not, this is a safe place, but it's a real honest place. No filter. We're going to rate it. We're emphasize gonna... on the no filter thing. We're all, all Seriously, when they come in, we're going to rate them. We're going to be like, all right, look, we're going to be honest with you, bro. Your outfit <laughs> is a two. It's a two. <laughs> but you not still a... can be on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we're not tripping. I'm yeah, not, not the biggest fan of your fit. But yeah, uh, fashion, sports, current topics, we like to talk about. We really have like engaging talks about, you know, NFTs, real estate, um, life, Web3, um, politics. <laughs> we talk about blends, blends. a lot, often. Daily. Don't forget the blend. <laughs> Never forget that. Daily. I mean, it's, let's be honest. It's what makes the world go around, man. The 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 uh, power of attraction. Makes it's the so world crazy. Go a lot of like the big name celebrities you know is uh, and are very close with is because of blends. Blends brings us together. <laughs> I'm on the phone. I don't want to talk to you about this. <laughs> we got a married. We got a married man in the pocket. Let's yeah, actually we'll get him out. Let's get Roger in the bed. Hey, Roger, 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 can you? Uh, hey, can Roger, you talk to the We need, hey, Roger, we need a sub in. So, dad, sub in. <laughs> hey, that's a, a faithful man right there. Hey, let's give it up for our faithful man right there, man. Hey, shout out, shout out to, shout out a to all the faithful man and a great dad. Yeah, shout out to faithful ben, man, great dad, man. Ben, we aspire to be me personally. You know, I'm out, I'm outside wilding out. I aspire to be like you, Ben, one day. <laughs> aspire to be your just go, like you. Your but goals, Ben. But the way the blends are set up, the way the blends are set up, they're all pretty, and they say yes. <laughs> all right, Roger. Shout out, Roger. Roger, man, Roger our day one. Roger, <laughs> day one, mid top Sperry. We, right we met Roger what 2011, I think. Right? Thanks. Yeah. So right. That's crazy. Is it, isn't it crazy looking back at it? Like a lot of people, we've known each other for over a decade. I've known Roger for 10 years and I, I'll never forget how I met Roger. How you meet him? It was basketball. Right? It was basketball. It was basketball. It was I definitely did, basketball. Keith, no, I think Keith, it was, I think it was, no, we were smoking. Nah, it was Keith. It was basketball, sure. but we got cooler because we were smoking. At Keith. At Keith yeah, though. we were smoking weed. Shout out my man Keith Kush. Real day one. Um, that's the blow, that's now. the blow move phone up. Remember? Yeah, he's hitting me up all the time. Like, yeah, I'm trying to go cool. out. So it's cool, up? dude, man. Cool, down, man. Uh, we're the same age, and we were just, we were afraid to let someone else in the group. We're I remember so that. afraid. We're still afraid. Like, we can't let no one in, man. We just, like yeah, yeah, our, our clique like was very person. tight. Like, yeah. we, he he moved. You transferred from another school. He played yeah. basketball D one, and he had a girlfriend. D two. You had a, a D two. My fault. I'll try to hype you up for the. You can hype me up. <laughs> still a bucket though. Still a bucket But Mine's yeah We got cool off of Outside of blends We got we got very close With each other With basketball honestly We got a question For you honestly <laughs> I always wanted to ask you this Hey what are you 30 now? I'm 31 31 Currently When, when are you gonna get married? Get, I know your better. family I know your brother's married Getting better when My brother's married? married And he has a beautiful son I'm gonna see him this weekend Mason He just had a beautiful son Like six months I think um, Six seven months I'm gonna get married When she says yes she is the main thing. The so let's, ha let's hashtag she then. She's the variable. It's a broad she. thing. She. Who's yeah, she? she? She's the variable. Or who's, who's her? Look, me, I'm behave piggyback on me. I met I met every type of <laughs> every type of girl I've seen, the true colors, I've seen all the things. I'm not I'm picky, but I don't want to uh waste time. You feel me? Mm. I don't want to waste time on like I've seen so many people waste time on relationships and then it pans out to nothing and then it's yeah. just a waste. We're, de we're definitely living in reality. Yeah, we're no, living in reality. Is, she, is so. she in LA though? Is she in LA? I can't marry a girl in LA. I'm As sorry. Yesterday? To... I got an audio message, I think it's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Pakistan. See, I'm gonna start go taking these audio message on on the microphone. Can I do this now? Let's Boy. see. I got an audio message. For one of your blends? Nah, so Oh, no, no, no. Start off with, nah, nah. We're going to hear that later. Yo. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no. Nobody's so serious. So, Roger, we got to talk to you. You you're recently just became a dad. I did, man. How's the father of life? Daughter. It's an adjustment, though, compared to what I used to do in life. What did you used to do? <laughs> <laughs> he has a good balance, off. though. He has a good balance. Off. 
<laughs> TGO, <laughs> TGO. Get off. TGO, nah, we had tell, a, tell them what you really do. Tell them your greatness. You're a musician. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very I talented. I, I, I've been on a couple albums. A couple, life. dang. Dude. Don't, be Don't be humble, Roger. Don't be humble. I'll give Roger his flowers. Like Roger his flowers. really put us on with a lot of stuff. Never forget, stuff. Roger put us on with Future in 2011. Facts. We didn't know when, who Future was. When I first met Roger, he kept saying, you like this guy named Future. And I was like, hey, who's Future? Back in the day, there was only Lil Wayne and it was like Lil in Wayne. the beginning of Drake's in, in, era. In Virginia, it was like Lil Wayne, Gucci Mane, Lil Boosie. Facts. <laughs> so like that. Richmond. Yeah, Richmond. When I first met Mook, I was like, dog, you like Future. Not everybody says that. Everyone. Everyone. Says that. Even he says it. I remember. Uh, <laughs> Even he calls me 20. Where, where'd you go? You went to either Miami for like a college, like a spring break or something? Was it? Where oh, was it? Oh, City. Panama City. City. Nah, I remember nah, nah, it was nah, trending nah. on Twitter. And it was Mook on stage with shades on. Everyone was tagging Future and saying, "Look, Future's in the building for spring break." But it was really him. But he took it. He took it an extra step, though. No, 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 no. He was on stage taking pictures of fans. First off, I'm like Mook. No, first off, Justin, (laughs) Justin, Justin, not here. One of our closest friends, Justin. He he he's not here right now. He may just walk in uninvited or unexpected. That's what Justin does. Justin told the host, "Hey, he tapped the host. Say that's Future right there. Like as a joke." I had my glasses on just because it was in Miami. And then um, he told the host his future and the host took it. He knew I was a future. The host knew it, but he wanted to take advantage of it. Started shouting on the mic. I never seen that many people run towards me. I had a bouncer and everything. I, just kept, I didn't say yes. I didn't say no, though. <laughs> I just put my head down. And you played along with it. I played along so with that, it because it's funny. So I have a question. Did that help you, you get some blends that night? No. <laughs> I get blends off my own. <laughs> my own charisma <laughs> my own charisma it didn't help me I mean it gives, gives you attention I've been called any little any rapper from Future to Wiz to Quavo to Tiger. nah the worst drum to, was Tiger. yeah was like whoever is popular anybody at the time. with dreads Tiger anyone with dreads sense, popular at the time has tattoos I get called whatever rappers call me Allen Iverson I wish someone called me that it's one crazy <laughs> so Roger back to you you moved here after we, we all moved us three moved in 2016 you moved to what 2018 2018 yep so why did you move? Because you had a job. You were working with a hospital. Great job. Yeah. He, had a, he had a great job. And what blew my mind was he left that great job to take a risk to, you saw our vision. Why? Mm-hmm. Like, why'd you? And we had one story at the time. And we only had one story. I don't think Half we had the call, right? Half of this. Did we have the call? No, it was just this. No, nah, well, the call was getting built. Oh, so you moved uh, when the pool was getting built? Yeah, Probably like three months, cool. maybe before? A couple months before. So what made you take that risk? Because you know, LA cost of living versus Virginia is a big, big change. Don't remind me. Uh, I mean, if we're gonna be real, it's us. We wanna hang yeah, out with I'm gonna be with my friends. Yeah, <laughs> mm. it's the reality. It's the reality. Yeah. But you never had no but down I mean, the back of your mind where you're like, "Damn, I'm quitting nah. my job to work at a, like cold cakes." I always knew it was gonna work though. Mm. Why the, though? Just from the beginning, I just knew it was gonna work. I mean, it's it's hard to find a group of people just like us. You know, you know what I'm saying? And that to keep just it going, like real friends. Yeah, you friends. know, it just it's naturally going to work. People are gonna gravitate towards that. And plus, we do it differently, way, way different than any other shoe stores we're doing it. Well, people don't realize that our early stages when we moved to L.A., it was kind of tough. Like, we worked every day. Like, it was just us three, right? We didn't have no employees. We were every day. Seven people don't understand. Away. Like, I'm telling you, like, when, when I see people now these days see us and give us our flowers, I, I, I just remind them that, hey, we did this for a long time. Like, we go to the club, we walk straight in the club, and I see friends that want to do that with us that we recently met. I'm like, we've been here for five, six years just waiting in line slowly, grinding for that point. So when we first got here, it was just us three. Every day. Every day, one car. BK had the only car. None Damn, of us had a car. I didn't actually. have no car. Yeah. I was Shout out around. to the Honda. 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 Every Man, successful entrepreneur starts with a Honda. My first car was a Honda Pilot. You had a Honda Accord. <laughs> Pilot Accord. Honda Accord. Yeah, that was a good car. It was a good car. It, <laughs> no, that was a Camry. I had a purple plum Camry every guy. Oh, no, I'll tell Camry. you the truth. Oh, I had a Camry in Got college sh- while we were hustling and doing parties. It had some issue that the only way it would start is we, we shook it. it. So Literally. All my friends car. were shaking outside Literally. and then <laughs> we turned on the car. So. Hey, this yeah. is a Sustra Ego, the bumper. It had a Sustra on, on like holding the bumper up or something like that? No. Come on, no, no, no. no. It had something. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, yeah, let's, let's, right. let's, yeah, let's, let's talk about the Camry first, the Magenta Camry. We none of us had cars, but we, we said, really <laughs> shake the car and then it didn't work. And then we go to the club. It. We go to the club and still be blended. Just let you know, it's not the items. It's, it's your personality it's that attracts <laughs> people. Honestly, it's true. Because in college, we were broke. We didn't have really much. But now, BK has. What do you have now? What are you pushing? Um, a Lamborghini Urus. So. Mm. Wow. And then you got a Tesla? Got yeah, a Tesla. Gold 4Gs so. on it? Little 4G magic, so all go. He's modest. He's humble. 
but he has a rich car. You definitely need a car now because like, when I moved out here, I didn't get a car. I was Ubering around for what, like a year before I got the don't Maserati. Forget, don't forget Uber Pool. Yo, you're right. It was Uber Pool, the thing. I was so broke when I moved here. When I used to go see my ex, bro, I used to Uber Pool to Santa Monica. It would take me like, two hours. See your what? My ex. He used to love, he used to love her. Up. He used to go to Let's Uber. Let's not talk about that, but I, that is, <laughs> I did used to Uber Pool. So when I used to Who's go to the, the club ex? too, Wait, you're right. When I used to go to the club, I used to Uber pool because I couldn't afford the like the eighteen dollars to the club. But you live closer down here. Remember you moved? Yeah, I live there by the park. You live with with like four people from Brand Center. Let's talk about that. Actually, I went (laughs) to Brand Center at BCU, so I didn't have money. So they y'all still lived in the valley. Talk about this. Mm -hmm. So I moved uh, after I left. uh, Like a month later, I got my spot with some people I went to grad school with. Like three of them and Curtis, and we lived. It was a two bedroom with four people in it, and I was paying eight hundred a month. Yeah. And no car, mind you. So I was just Uber pulling. Uber pull. Think about Uber pulling during COVID, how sick that would have been. I don't think they had it. During COVID, how are you social distancing? Uber, Uber pull. Uh, they, had to, they had to move that off. But yeah, you used to Uber pull. People to the don't. store. BK had his one car. We just had to wait. And then after work, you, you would take me uh, to Drop Park Rail. Drop you But I couldn't home. afford meals, so I would go to KFC for the $5 box. Yeah. Remember those days? Wow. And, 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 and sometimes, sometimes we would still be networking. This is our initial days here. We used to go out still. And I, I used to, sometimes I sleep in BK's the early where he wakes up. So he'll leave me. And I had no ride to the, to the store. So I have the Uber, like uh, Uber pool, like $20. This used to hurt us. That's a lot. Is a lot. Wait, so you Total. had a blend that was with you when you had nothing. And, and she, now she's not around. Man, so what happened? She switched up? Well, let's not, let's oh, back to the blend? Let's get an idea. This is the next episode of Kicking Away the Cool. I'm just curious. You, you gotta, you gotta, you I'll be honest with you. I never changed. Y'all been around me forever. That Money is. never changed me. Cloud didn't change me. It just life goes on. It's like, but you in LA, you found somebody that yeah, it's hard saw you that. at nothing. I found somebody. Yeah, I, I remember she used to bring me toilet paper because I didn't have toilet paper. Shout no, out. we're not talking about that. I'm not trying to. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, but now you know what's Same crazy. Right. Is, you know what it is? <laughs> the, the teenage like witch. Like oh, the teenage, teenage witch. witch. But You're you know missed. Come back like, to him. He the, needs you. No, no, no. But listen, beneficial. You know what it is? As as you progress in life, some people are just not made for that whole journey because you're trying to grow. You don't want to be stuck in a box. Yeah, I, had right? a, I could pay you back on. I had a girl too at that time. Well, she yeah, yeah, she had her she had her hustle. She's very popular, you know, had her hustle, made it. She was, she's well, well off, grinded. Shout out, shout out Fashion Nova. Shout out Fashion Nova, big, big, big respect. <laughs> no big respect, big respect no to her. Um, she had her grind, she had her hustle, she had her back, she had her thing she was gone, but me, we was grinding at the time. That's what people don't realize, timing's so, everything. Yeah, it's grind, right person, wrong time. It was grinding, so we couldn't really Like if I had separate. met that individual today, uh, it would be different, but I met that individual when I, the last five, six years changed our whole life, you know what I mean? Mm. So it's like once you make, uh, get established, that's when you can settle and settle down. But like at the time, we had to build a brand. If I didn't go out like those six, seven days a week, would you guys like? I don't know if this would be where we are today. Yeah, we had to, we had to, we had to put the groundwork in. Sometimes you got to understand. What about you, BK? No. Are you Never. single, BK? You're the oldest out of all us, right? I am BK, single. BK single because of Roger. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Shot, but shot, that, shot, but that, was best, that was Roger. the best thing that probably ever happened, though. That yeah, always. Was. <laughs> on, on the low, though. It was. You started off a, um, a trickling effect. I got us definitely <laughs> what, ha- here. what happened? Tell us a story. Was she it? went through Roger's what, text, right? That's what the people want to hear. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that was the best thing that ever happened yeah, to BK. It happened uh, like that, though. B, B, uh, Roger got... What was the whole story? I'm curious now. I was a new guy. Roger, new guy. Roger, 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 Roger likes to sleep. Yeah, so he didn't understand him being sleepy. My, his girl, ex, his, my ex's it. best friend went through his phone and showed him all our group chats. So, oh, <laughs> so this is shit. why I am single. Of it's a only relationship funny because he told years. me that was gonna happen though. Yeah, and I, and I warned him. <laughs> I said, I said they're smarter than you. She's gonna go through your phone, or she's gonna catch you, or she's gonna catch you doing something, in. and Put it happened. Phone. And it didn't happen only once. Both I got away time. with it the first time. It happened that twice. twice yeah. So it kind of sealed. That's the best thing that ever happened. You honestly. Thanks, Ro- Roger was a well, thank, thank you, Roger, for thank getting him caught up. I, I used to think you <laughs> came into my life as like a... Try to ruin you. Like, try to ruin me. I was like, what did I do to this guy? It's like, why? But it's all good. Nah, Everything man. happens for a reason. It so turned out for the best. That, that helped. Turned out for the best. Now we're here in LA. Who'll be a dream guest, though? Dream yeah, guest. Yeah, who is the dream guest? I'll tell you I'll, straight up. Donald Trump? Jay-Z. Jay-Z. If Jay, wow. if Jay-Z Hove Hove did. Hove would be nuts. If Hove did. Now we got to get DJ Khaled too, actually. DJ Khaled. Oh, LeBron. LeBron. We got to get LeBron. James. LeBron James. I would, like to, I would like to sit down with Allen Iverson. Uh-huh. Talk, talk to Allen Iverson about... We can definitely being get from, Being from Virginia and like... 
making his way and kept it like kept it like real like as a virginia dude and being a legend way. alongside being like, a legend and but still keeping his way like not changing up it's like, crazy from a birthday party and he never showed he up with, i met alan iverson he's my biggest like i have a, a idol he's my like my biggest idol i met him in uh the club uh, was your birthday. it was my birthday Nightingale. Nightingale. it's his birthday my homie uh from virginia brought him to the club just like like we said there was girls around there's alan <laughs> iverson we talking about here <laughs> those girls nice. around and y'all wanted to come have fun with us hang out with us so we said yeah pull up we kept it cool with him we got to um, take pictures with him chop it up with him that's the main thing chop it up with him talk to him about you know we're from Virginia we came here hustled um, we're humble he's he seen us in action at the club and he mentioned we was um, acting bad he mentioned my name say oh you really from Virginia so I get it now so that made that made a lot to us we would love to have Allen Iverson Sit down. We're going to make it happen for y'all. Yeah, comment down below who y'all want to see on this podcast. We're going to be dropping once once a week. Yeah, once a week. Maybe once twice every a week. Other depends. Week. depends. Yeah, you never know. Depends with the, um, with the guests. But the guest-wise that I want to see, I want to see some, uh, I want to pick uh, the minds of some blends. What, what, what blends do you want to see? Kim. I want I want Kim uh, K? Kim K. I would love to I talk to. break her down. I would love to talk to Kim Kardashian about being a, a, a mogul. Uh, like a billionaire she's a billionaire I don't care how she got it where she got it from <laughs> she, she's, got the, it. she's the golden blend the one on one golden blend curious to see how she you know her her relationship after Kanye West with like P. Davis even though it's like she's a, single now I know it was a rebound P. Davis is like a rebound so you do you think she's gonna go back to Kanye um, who's next I don't know Maybe. who's next uh, Kanye kind of ruined himself left? after so who's next next for Kim Kardashian yeah. who's left I'm right here <laughs> <laughs> So, I want you know what's crazy about Mook and I've told her this all the time for, since 2010. I won't be shocked if uh, Kim uh, and Mook can date Kim K. Not my not my type. <laughs> Who, who's your who's your dream girlfriend? My dream girlfriend? I don't know. Dream girlfriend? Uh, Sanaa Lathan. Really? <laughs> in the nineties. <laughs> Sanaa Lathan in the nineties, loving basketball. I don't know, dream girlfriend. Yeah, who like who's your dream girlfriend? You gotta talk about type. Like what type? It's like Rihanna? Nah. Too much gas mileage. Too old. So who? Who's your dream girlfriend? Too, too expensive. <laughs> who's your dream girlfriend? Uh, Mr. Shags. Honestly, I don't Sam. know. Probably some Bollywood actress. <laughs> yeah, some Bollywood I, actress. I, 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 don't know that. Bollywood I, actress. I can see myself with an iconic Bollywood actress. I don't know. I got to start watching Bollywood movies to see who I'm attracted to. Then one day I'm going to just book a flight, go to Bollywood and just... Just it, act it, bad. What you gonna do? Good. I'm just gonna vibe out. I got some people out there. You got some plugs? I got some plugs out there with the government. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm gonna do. When I'm ready to settle down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that trip. I'm gonna either go there or I'm gonna go to Toronto because uh, Toronto's got a lot of brown girls. Yeah, she, yeah, but a dream girlfriend to me has to be a girl that's, she, she's well off. She's got her own little hustle. She's experienced. Okay. Not a lot, not rolling. <laughs> <laughs> not a bop, but experienced. Knows what's out there. Because in LA, you could bring a girl here and then the flashing lights would trip her out because you go bring her to the club she sees future she sees drake they're buying bottles she's dizzy already so wait you, you haven't found you need your, a girl you that's find seen your dream that girl already. in la you need a girl that's seen that already huh no, it's, no dream girl hard. in la no girl I, that you like hard to find a real honestly like, it's hard to find a wife in, in, in la it's not hard especially in the mix we're at we're in like yeah, the wrong we're in, in toxic mix. places you got to be uh, admit that we're in bad places bro yeah. but if we go like a 30 miles outwards there's probably a wife out there I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it's been six years. You have to be honest with yourself. <laughs> yeah, six years. We've been we stuck in Hollywood. Six years. But you know what I love six about years this? if you ain't found a girl now. Yeah. I'm going to be mean, honest with y'all. What I love about our core group, and uh, I've, I haven't seen other group groups do this, we've sticked together, and we've never let LA change us. Like, people get lost in LA. Money, right, drugs, so sex, sauce. alcohol, all that. Like, we, we've never got lost. Like, we don't do drugs. We go out. We have fun. We make it to work the next day. We do other projects. I have done mushrooms before. Yeah, mushrooms. I love mushrooms. But that's mushrooms. natural. Drugs. Oh, I don't do he that. He smokes weed all the time. I don't do nothing. Can cannabis, da, 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 da. cannabis, cannabis cool. weed, shrooms. <laughs> I'm talking about like hard drugs, like fucking narcotics. I mean, I like we, I like a lot of people get caught up. Drug. Cocaine. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know all this other bullshit. Only because Elaborate. it's only because it's so accessible, and it's very accessible, and people can afford it. Like you know, small towns, it's not accessible, and if it is, costs a lot. So here in LA. It's, it's 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 there. Like girls don't it's have accessible. to pay for none of that. Guys have guys could, could could you know supply the girls with drugs. And then that's how drugs are. It's a, it's a thing. Is people party every every yeah. day here in L.A. Girls get yeah. girls big spoiled with a good time. It's a lot. That's how that's that. why people get lost yeah. in L.A. is because there's always something to do. So when you judge yeah. a girl that is um okay, for example, the girl that parties is she more wifeable than the girl that doesn't party? Nah, because I've. Ever, 
been with girls that don't party, but they would still cheat. Sometimes the, a girl that's low key might be the the cheater. They might be the worst ones. They, they the might be the worst one. I'd rather have her be at you the party. You've been cheating on before? Uh, not you? that I know of, honestly. That is, and not that I know. Of. But then, uh, uh, have you, you been? You know, the way I look at it, the only reason a girl would cheat on you is because a, she's a, you're a, not making her happy. I had Achilles heel. I have. How did it make you feel? You been cheating on? It was you cool. really didn't hear about guys' that, perspective. But, I, but I, was, I was real on myself. It was not like I'm perfect. So at the end, yeah, it's so like, you, you can't know, trip regardless because you were cheating too. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> so we go back to your. No, we're going to let so you So it's a double I'm standards. Out. That's right. No, that double standards. No, it's not it's double standards. 100% I, 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 double standards. I took the L as a man and I moved on. So it was cool. It's yeah, 100% double standards with cheating. Do loyal people exist? 100%. Do people do loyal people still exist today? Yeah. yeah. I think social media has ruined everything. It's just people argue this is what's happening. People, today's Monday, today's Tuesday. You argue with your girl. Back in the day, you just argue and go to sleep. Now, <laughs> Monday, you argue, you argue at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, you're, someone's, you're shooting a shot and DM with somebody. It's just so accessible communication with other people. Then seven and that's what's ruining, I mean, that's it's, it's ruining it's society. Too, though. Again, it's LA. If you take somebody to Wisconsin, yeah, you can go to, you can go to Iowa. You, you still have social media. There's dating sites that you social, on Tinder swiping yeah, right. I'm telling you, I, I, I agree with him. It's social not about, media changed everything. So, yeah, it's, it's too not accessible. About, it's not about LA. It's not about social media. It's just the person discipline. Because yeah. we really disciplined to know like, hey, you have what you have. You make it get more, but you have what you have. But I think it's hard to be disciplined when Instagram's like a, a walking date. It's a dating app. It's not. It is. I don't even. It's like, it is, it's like you're portraying yourself to the opposite sex. Like, hey, this is how I look every day. Not, not your best self. It's. Well, actually, it is your best self, it's not your worst self. So, I mean, I think you can even try easier to be. nowadays in society. Just everything, music you hear, everything, just it's just norm, the new norm. It just sex is just easier. I got a question for you, bro. So, who's the biggest cheater, a girl or a guy? In our case, who's better guys, at cheating, a girl or a guy? That's a, I think uh, both cheat, but girls are sneakier with it. It's girls actually, are very sneaky. Girl will tell you she's going to yoga with her girlfriends and then you never know what she's doing. <laughs> and don't compare me to Andrew Tate because doing this podcast, <laughs> I'm going to be. Uh, no filtered. Yeah, but, 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 but that's Andrew what's Tate, Andrew Tate, respect to Andrew Tate. So free for, Andrew for, Tate, by the way. Free Andrew Tate. But for, for some of his, um, for some of his approaches, a lot of females not a big fan of Andrew Tate, and I get it. You know, I'm a big though, feminist. Right? He's, I, a fa- I, he's stating facts. He, some some facts. He's all, all, all outside looking in. He has a lot of he has some facts, but take it from me, a guy that knows really sometimes how girls really are. He could, he's wrong a little bit about something. So like for example, girls cheat. Guys cheat, but if you were disciplined enough, you'll be able to hold you'll be able to hold it down. Well, actually, research shows women are more likely to cheat wow. than men due to boredom. That's a meme. And what's it, uh, it says it. Um, it looks like a meme. What's that pew? What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your pew research? Um, it says women need a variety of sexual can, can experience you, can you, can you, Roger, more than men. can you state the source on camera right now? ESPN, FPI? It says news on it, brother. Just news. That's, see, that's news. That looks like somebody just made it here. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, put it, let's put it on Google. Show the camera. Show, show the camera, Show the camera, show the camera, Roger. Let's put it on Cause, Google. Because you're a prime example of the people that's listening to the memes. Hey. They got, they got, go comment out on Roger's on Instagram page. It's all news. <laughs> like, at rap. Yeah, at it's rap. like anything. Women need a variety of But that's of true. People do cheat because of boredom or that person not making them excitement. But that's like, what the team dude was saying, though. Yeah. It's true. He was saying the exact same thing. Like, if a dude's boring and he's not... Look, like... I, I got it. So no, that's not why I can do cheat. what I need. If you're bored, you don't cheat. You just That means you just never love the person. Yeah, if you're bored, you're just like, hey, I'm not really attracted to you no more, so let's not talk. And then you move on to someone else. You're not gonna like, let me keep this boring person and let me cheat with the phone person. Why are you keeping the boring person? Yeah, just we'll stop dragging them along. Maybe maybe people are comfortable though. You know? You can be comfortable with somebody. And still You know, you know. The, is the divorce divorce rate going up, right? Divorce rate? <laughs> divorce rate? The marriage I don't even rate think people really get married no more. So yeah. like they used to. I can't wait to get I wanna married. I want to get married. I want to do the whole traditional yeah, thing. Like my parents are still together. Yeah, my parents got an arranged marriage. Should I just do an arranged marriage? It's too late for that. <laughs> too toxic. <laughs> too toxic for that. Let me just look out in the wilderness. It's too toxic for that now. <laughs> for arranged marriage. No, mm-hmm. but I think honestly, honestly, it's just. I can see you and Adele getting an arranged marriage. I, did, I, did I, really, I really could. I, I really see you getting an arranged marriage. Well, I'll, be, I'll be single in three months. I know any girl that lives here from Maryland. Is it New York yeah. Post credible? She sure is. <laughs> What was wrong with her? <laughs> hey, can we talk about the situation? Actually, we're not gonna name drop. Let What's me tell wrong? you something What's about wrong her. I, I go to Mook and Rice me to this dinner, and I see a very attractive brown girl. I rarely see that in LA. There's not that many brown girls out here. And I told Mook, I said, let me just get this one. I could probably see myself wife of this girl. Very pretty. 
I, once I told him that, this guy, Mook, goes overdrive and hangs over there 10 days straight. Okay, stop. And at that Let's moment, I, right I was like, Mook, you didn't even want her like that until I told you I wanted to wife her. Let me stop it. Let, let me stop you right there. We're not talking about her. She was, she was Indian, brother. right? It's Indian girl. You know what's crazy? She was like the girl version no, because she's like, I don't know how to describe it. No, but, uh, but you said, you basically said, I told you to come to this party because I got a lob for you. A lob is like, hey, I'm done with her or I'm not really a fan of her no more. Or maybe I think she best fits you. So I'm throwing a lob. You just got to catch it. I can't make you catch a lob. I How can I catch all a lob in there. this guy's going full overdrive? Let me tell you. Breakfast, dinner. You, you, no, threw, no. you threw the lob and then you came for the block. <laughs> no, I threw the Yo, lob. No, 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 let me tell you. The boss coming to me and he's just like, no, let me tell you this. All right, this is what it is. I already knew the girl. I already did my thing with her. No, you didn't at the time. time. You didn't. That was your first time uh, hanging with her in public. Oh, you're right. But I, but I, I sensed that she was attracted to me. So I let her rock. I, let, I moved over. I let you do your thing with her. I let you do your thing. I threw For the what? lob. 17 minutes? I threw the lob. You didn't catch it. I went back I had over 17 there. Minutes I went to over there to where the ball was. I got the ball. I shot a tray ball. Mm. I made it. I made it. So now she's like, you know. I can't wait till she uh, sees this podcast and dice. Now she's a city girl. I, 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 I tell her too. I try. I, I mean, like, she be like, why you leave me over there with a deal? I was like, I try. No, I try. it's not the cap. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the cap. <laughs> I, I, I tried to throw him the lob. Why you leave me over there with a the deal? All right, no. <laughs> this dude's the hype. This dude went full overdrive. That, went, but she said that, said but that. after this, after Mook sends her an I emoji and I love you sign. So it's okay. Yeah, my friends There's said a I full overdrive because I keep it. It's push and pull. I keep it happy. I you're just too it. nice to some I'm girls nice and leads them on. Nice you're, just, you're just Mook, man. We're, nice we're already used to you. You're you, want just, me, you want me to, you want me to be, you want me to be mean to her so you catch the love. Hey, I'm I don't never forget when you first moved there, Mook used to have, a, how many blends did you have rotating throughout the store? Let's talk about that. Made a day go by. It's a long day at first. I went, when we first opened Cold Kids, it, it was 8 slow. PM. Remember? We, we used to do 11 to 8. We used to do 8, 8 p.m. So and shout out to the staff currently are working here now. They call it, We call it 7 now. I used to tell them we used to do 8 p.m. Shout out to the entire Cold Kids staff. We're definitely going to bring them on throughout the episodes. We have seen Jew here earlier. And what, you know what I love about our staff is they've been with us literally for many years. Typical, Typically for like a retail job or like fast food or anything, the turnover of staff is what, like maybe, maybe a couple months, maybe, maybe, maybe six, six months, months right? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But people have been with us. They see the vision. They've been literally with us for, Five years, six years, majority of them. And any new hires were like through referrals, mm. right? A lot of them we yeah. meet through yeah. just yeah. like, uh, like for example, Ryan. We knew Ryan just was the kid that worked in the Foot Locker, Santa Monica. He used to sell shoes. We knew John. Cause Cause bas- man, basketball. He broke my ankles. He, he crossed you and then he bought shoes the next day. We knew Breezy <laughs> early. A uh, like a, a first open, like a so crazy. open interview. Been, and we've seen oh, Rami. Let's talk about Rami. Rami mm. was so, what is like 12? He was 12 at the time, 13. He was our first intern. First intern. Rami was probably the first customer. Yeah, yeah. Rami, he's been here six years, literally. <laughs> yeah, literally Rami, since Rami, we first started. Rami, the sneaker yeah. icon. Rami, 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 the icon guys you know, now that that listens to Central C all the time, was once a kid, a 12-year-old kid. I used to wait outside. Um, outside first, you know, he's like sell sneakers and I want to buy sneakers or just hang, it, hang out. He was a cool dude. Cool kid. So we used to ask him to help us out. It was only three of us, four of us with Curtis. Yeah. And we used to ask Rami to help us out. Just Crazy. cause you're here all day. He was here all day, regardless. So like, help us, like you know, tag some shoes. And then he turns to the legend that he is now. He knows everything about the sneaker community. Head Dan on his shoulder. He got his own apartment. His own car. He's what nineteen now. Nineteen. Nineteen. 19. So big respect to that. Nineteen year olds and where I'm from. So crazy. Don't really get to that. back at it. Where we came from and where Cool Kiss is now. What do we have? Like thirty employees now. Got more time in our business. It's more just crazy. Out here. Max, Zach. Max we, here. Zach's and here. Every time I tell people that back. story, it's like, it's like we're our core friend and Ben, but then we also moved Ben, and I mean, uh, Zach and Max. So we have like a seven. Kenny's eight, here. Kenny. We Kenny have like eight, right. nine of our like close friends from college that we moved to LA for because of Cold Kicks. Like that's just so crazy. Like you don't really hear those that's type real, of stories though. ever. So before we end this video, the, that one line that everyone always says, don't go into business with your friends. We did, we did that. And anyway, it kind of worked out. We, we never signed no contracts. We just built trust, right? Yeah. Literally, you can, we right. shook on it. And look, 80 years in, we held it down. We all grew together. No, 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 no thievery, no stealing, no like uh, measuring each other up to the next person. No envy, no you jealousy. Know, envy, nothing like that. Just that's, these are the real tips. You could, your homies that you're with at home, like y'all hustling, y'all could go into business with each other. You got to really find... Like a good headspace where y'all are cool with each other, regardless. You gotta understand the bigger picture. Like the bigger picture. Cool kicks is bigger than all of us. Definitely. Like all of us in this room. 
Even though we created it from the ground up, the storefront and the industry that we're in is bigger than all of us. So you gotta understand the bigger picture and then you'll be you'll be straight. No we egos, did it, man. And we're still doing it. We're having a blast doing it though. So mm. get rid of egos. Egos, get rid of egos. egos. Kill anybody. And, and any, every, any friendship. Be right, happy for your friends. And every day is a different day. Like there's ups and downs. I mean, we've been through it all. So I mean, we've literally been through all like robberies, fires. Um, no, we, we got to talk everything. about one of the episodes like where we got broken into a couple of times that like, we didn't even put out there in public. Yeah, we we yeah. kept a lot of them like you we know, went we to went the through a lot of sh- shit. Individual kept individual moving. situations getting robbed and car th- driving through the store while it's open. Man, I forgot about that. <laughs> we've been through a lot. Like people see like all the good shit, but like we went through a lot of behind the scenes stuff that like broke us apart. Like there were some days we wake up middle of the night like three a.m. and it's like damn the alarm's going off like what the what's happening? And we watch the cameras of people are really stealing. Really, it's it's just crazy. I we got I, legendary JB in the building. We got JB running yeah. his mouth do rag on, but he ready to work. And Bree was just in here, legendary so we're definitely gonna JB. have them on the next episodes. So I mean, thanks you guys for like you know tuning in, ride this wave with us as we continue to tell you our story, and you know where, and where we're going because we got a long way to go. We came from a long. We came from. Uh, you know, nothing came for nothing. We're grateful for it, but we really, really, really have a long way to go. We want y'all to really understand the story behind it because no, nah, the story's not out there. They just see it's the first time ever talking about public Instagram and like the, the course, they don't they really don't get see. to see our personalities. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop some names to blend too because I know Let's everything. Act bad then. I know everything that's going What's on. Everyone watching, I hope y'all <laughs> enjoyed the first episode of Kicking with a Cool. Comment down below who you guys want to see on the next coming episodes. And Obama. thank you for kicking it with the cool. Thank Peace. you. Peace. I'm talking out. It's not over the